creators. We've learned this week all about the savanna. And the savanna is a place that has tall grass and not many trees. And it's kind of dry most of the year. And you got to make your own savanna, which I did see some of yours on your Zoom videos. So here's mine. I have my lions and elephants and zebras, and I even put a little crocodile in the water. Uh, we learned about different animals, little wild animals that live on the savanna. The savanna um, is where lots of wild animals live, especially in Africa. So we learned about, what is this? Lions, we learned about lions. We learned that the male lion is the one that has the mane. And we learned that his job is to protect the family, to protect the den. And we learned about the girl lion, the female. She's the lioness. And her job is to go out and do the hunting and get the food for everybody in the pride. And we learned that the baby lions were called the cubs. And Connor knew that. And we added some cheetahs and some leopards too to our savanna. And we know that all together, the cat family is called felines. So if you have a kitty at home, your cat is also part of that family. It's a feline. So those are kind of like the king of the jungle. The lion is the king of the jungle. Nobody goes after the lion. He is the top predator. We learned a little bit about elephants. We learned that they are the largest mammal in the world. We also learned that they can live to up to be 82 years old. Uh, we learned a little bit about zebras. And we learned that no two zebras are alike. They all have different stripes from each other. And that's the same thing with the giraffes. The giraffes are the tallest mammal in the world. A baby giraffe, when he's born, he can be six feet tall, which is like pretty much probably as tall as some of your dads, six feet tall. And no two giraffes have the same spots which is interesting. And we had some rhinos too, and some hippos. These are all savanna animals. They are also all mammals. Which remember that, that we learned that mammals are animals that have some kind of hair or fur, and they all feed their babies milk. Um, we learned about the bird, a fowl, and called an oxpecker. And the oxpecker likes to hang out on top of the giraffe or the zebras or the elephants. And he hangs out there because he knows that he can eat all the little ticks or mites or little bugs that live on these animals and bite these animals. So he lives there, he likes to hang out there so he can get his food. And one thing oxpeckers also do is when they see danger coming, like a lion coming from far, far away, he can warn the zebras or the giraffes. He does, he makes like a hissing sound to let them know that a predator might be coming. So, the giraffe or the zebra, they get cleaned by the oxpecker because he eats all the bugs off of them. And the oxpecker gets his food. And that means that they have something called a symbiotic relationship. Symbiotic. So when you, they get something from each other. So the giraffe gets clean and the oxpecker gets food, which is called symbiosis. All right, so we had a lot of fun with the Savannah. I hope you guys did all your art projects.
And next week we get to go into the ocean and learn about sharks and octopus and a lot of other ocean creatures. You get to make your own aquariums. It'll be a lot of fun. All right, guys. We miss you.